most importantly, how do I prove that value to my prospects and really to my clients if they don't have my security stack? Hey everyone, this is William here at IT Nation, and hey. I'm here with Jennifer. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Bleem with MSP Sales Revolution. Great, so Jennifer, I'm, I'm super curious about uh, MSPs and their marketing and sales of cybersecurity services in 2023. What do you think some of the biggest challenges that they're having? right now. So we are still seeing a lot of challenges with lead generation and then right. specifically with their cybersecurity offer, building the stack, what is it that I'm selling, how do I price it, um, and then maybe maybe most importantly, how do I prove that value to my prospects and really to my clients if they don't have my security stack? Yeah, that's, that's interesting, um, proving the value, right? That's yes. uh, something that maybe uh, doesn't always translate well from an MSP to their clients. What's the biggest challenge do you think in that, that little concept? Yeah, so I boil this down to features versus benefits. So when the technical resource is here at IT Nation or another event or doing a demo, they are very, very focused on features. Um, the latest AI, ML, I need a SIM, I need a SOC, I need, like, all, and those features are important, don't, don't get me wrong. It's like when you're shopping at the grocery store, like the ingredients are important. Mm -hmm. But like my kids often say, like, mom, I went to the pantry and even though it's full, there's no food in there, there's only ingredients, right? So when you go to your client, you can't talk about the ingredients, you can't talk about the bullets, the features, you need to talk about the benefits. And if you don't know the difference between features and benefits, features Features are those bullet points. Benefits, what's in it for me? I, I'm selfish, I want you to tell me how is this thing, how is AI going to benefit me? How is having 24 by seven support going to benefit me? Why do I care? Therefore, why should I pay for it? Right, right. And what do you see changing in 2024? So I'm seeing a whole lot of AI integrations. I'm hearing little rumors of AI uh, prospecting bots, which is very interesting. I think that'll be later this year or later in 2024. Um, I also think there's gonna be some opportunity to integrate um, some things like vulnerability assessments mm -hmm. and things like that in a prospecting tool. Right, right, so, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's there. It, it, okay. It's like it's nagging at me. It just doesn't quite Great. exist today. Great. And uh, Jennifer, tell us a little bit about your book for a second, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, so I have a book called Simplified Cybersecurity Sales for MSPs. It's available on Amazon and Audible. And it's on Audible because so many business owners mm -hmm. said, I don't have time to read, but if you get it on Audible, I will listen to it. That's so, great. Simplified Cybersecurity Sales for MSPs. And great. then leave me a review. Great. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. All right.